today we're gonna be taking a look at and testing this Dr. Prepper 12 volt, 300 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. So this is made by a company called Dr. Prepper, Dr. Prepare. It's kind of funny because a lot of the battery names and manufacturers out there are kind of crazily named. This one's actually somewhat, I guess, easy to understand. Dr. Prepper. I don't know. It's kind of funny. So this thing's rated at 12 volts, 300 amp hours, like we said. It has a capacity of 3,800 watt hours, 3,840 watt hours. It can do max of 200 amps continuous discharge current. Max charging current 100 amps. It does say it has low temp protection. We're definitely going to test that. It says you can series up to four of these together. So you can take four of these and make a 48 volt battery if you wanted to. Now the dimensions on this battery are going to be 10 inches high, 15 inches long, and and 7.6 inches wide. They say it has grade A cells. They all say that. And they say this thing will last 10 years, which I believe it should last 10 years. Uh, let's see if there's anything I'm missing. At the time of recording this video, this battery right now is on Amazon for $399, but with a coupon, you can actually get this for $320, making it one of the most affordable 300 amp hour batteries that I've seen so far. So if this thing checks out really good, tests really good, and the build quality is really good, we might have a really good budget winner in our hands. As you guys know, 300 amp hour batteries are becoming extremely popular on the market. And here's kind of a good size comparison to a standard size 100 amp hour battery that we've seen for years on the market now. And as you guys can see, it's only slightly bigger, but you get three times the capacity. And then also here it is next to a mini. So it's really awesome because you're able to use one of these and replace three of those or three of those in a way more compact size. Also in the package, you do get your terminal bolts with the little caps and your user manual. So let's go through that real quick, see if there's anything interesting. They also give you some sort of warranty card. I guess if you activate the warranty, you'll get some sort of extended warranty, but I couldn't find how long the warranty was. Pretty standard battery manual. They all kind of have the same information, but there's all the specs on the battery right there. And it's gonna be all the same specs that are on the front. As recommended wire size, get some charge graphs, discharge graphs, tells you kilowatt hours, how many you've been parallel and in series. Always a good idea just to skim through these. Sometimes they have interesting information. So we're gonna fully charge this battery. Then we're gonna fully discharge it to measure the capacity. Then we're gonna do a full current discharge test. We're gonna put a 200 amp load. And we're also gonna put above a 200 amp load to see if the battery will handle it. And if the high current protection works, then we're actually gonna open the battery up and take a look at the cells, the BMS and the build quality. See if we can't figure out what kind of cells they're using and just kind of judge what you're getting for the money. But so far, this is a really good price point, I believe for a 300 amp hour battery. We test a ton of different budget batteries on the channel. So I love it when I get a really good deal on a lot of capacity. And I hope this thing ends up living up to our expectations. So let's get to work. In order to charge this piece of a battery, we're gonna use a 30 amp charger and it should take probably about three to five hours. They should have this thing at about 50% state of charge when they ship it to you. I have the battery fully charged now. We're gonna set the capacity meter, reset the data. So there we go, we set it to 300 amp hours. It is 100% fully charged. This number right here is gonna be the final amp hours that we get on the capacity test. We're gonna put a 0.2 C load on the battery using this Sun Gold Power 3000 watt inverter. And that's gonna be about a 0.2 C load, which is 60 amps. And there we go, we're about close to 60 amps. It should take about five hours to completely discharge the battery. I'll see you guys in a few hours after the test is complete and we'll see the results. All right guys, we just finished the capacity test on our Dr. Prepare 300 amp hour battery. And we got 306.97, almost 307 amp hours. So that's a good pass for this battery. Next, I'm gonna fully recharge it so we can start doing some full current discharge testing and see how big of a load we can put on the battery see if it'll shut down. It has a 200 amp BMS and we're gonna hit it with probably close to 300 amps just to see how much it'll take. I can really only load it with 300 amps because that's all my inverter is rated for. So let's begin the test. So first half of the load's gonna be a battery charger. All right, with just the battery charger running, we're pulling 110 amps. We have 110 amps and I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the space heater. Here we go, 267, 266 amps. The inverter is 90% loaded. I'll try to add a little bit more load, but I think we're just about maxed out on the inverter. We're pulling over 3,300 watts from the battery and it is holding steady. I turned the battery charger up just a little bit. So we're gonna turn the heater on high. See if we get 300 amps. Holy crap guys, 300 and it's not shutting down. So it's very impressive. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and very carefully pry open the lid so we can get a good look at the inside of this thing. There we go. Ugh. All right, wow, that's some thick wires for the positive connection. I've never seen three six gauge wires. Is that what we got there? That's awesome. And the bus bars are completely cold. The wires are a little bit warm from our discharge test that we just did, but the bus bar is completely cold. This is a good first look at it. it. Looks really nice. Big old beefy cells. There's a QR code right there. We're gonna try to scan that here in a second. And the BMS is tucked in here. So I need to try to extract this thing out of the case very carefully so I don't hurt nothing. 
All right, one thing I've noticed off the rip, there's nothing in the bottom of the plastic case cushioning the cell. So make sure when you're handling this, you're not slamming it down. I could see how that might cause damage. I wish there was some foam right there. There is a little bit of foam on the sides. For compression, they're using these plastic shipping-like straps. These do feel really, really tight, so those do seem sufficient. And they also put two metal plates on the end. So there's a metal plate here, as well as a metal plate here. There's also some foam on that side. Laser welded, big, beefy bus bars. The balance harness is kind of just chilling here, but it was underneath this piece of foam that I peeled off when I first got the cover off. Here's a really good look at our BMS. It looks pretty beefy. We got three six gauge wires. We have a temperature sensor right here. I wonder if it has a low temp cutoff. We're gonna test that. And then here's our balancing harness. So nothing crazy there. Pretty small heat sink. I probably wouldn't overload this battery too bad. There's not a whole lot of aluminum there and there's really no way for the heat sink to get any fresh air to cool. So that is something I would keep an eye on if you're really gonna push this thing to its limits. But I think most of you guys will be just fine. I don't think you're gonna be pulling 300 amps out of one battery anyways. All right, I did scan the QR code on the cells and for some reason it's not pulling up a lot of information. It's just saying that they were made in August of 2023. Well, what is interesting, and it's really hard to show this, if you look really closely at the top there, it says 976 watt hours. And if we take 976, divide that by 3.2 volts per cell, we get 305. So according to the QR code, just based on what's etched on there, these are 305 amp hour cells. So that's really good to see because some companies are trying to use 280 amp hour cells and hoping that they pass close to 300 amp hours. So they sell them as a 300 amp hour battery, but these are in fact 305 amp hour cells. Couldn't really pull up a whole lot of info, unfortunately. Other than there being no foam on the bottom and the balance wire is kind of just chilling there. This thing looks pretty nice. Overall, the build quality is pretty good, I think, for the value that you're getting for your money. I don't see anything that would be detrimental. I really like how much wires that they put because these are really beefy connectors and that's what you want to see. And bolted to the BMS, really nice. Oh, there we go. It just triggered the charging protection, does work. Nice. Okay guys, that's gonna wrap up the testing and review of this battery. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Overall, the battery performed really well and the construction of it is pretty good given the price point. So I think all in all, it's a pretty good battery for the value. Never heard of the company Dr. Prepare, so hopefully they stick around and only time will tell how good this battery will actually hold up in the real world. I'm gonna continue doing some testing on the side and let me know if there's anything else you guys wanna see me do with this battery. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.